Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to another tutorial on Vesta. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to draw um, arrows um, in a particular direction so that in case like you have to model your crystal structure and provide some arrows for like magnetic direction or something so you can do that. So to do that, just go ahead and open any crystal structure. So let's just go ahead and open a Rutile TiO2 crystal structure. So it is a tetragonal crystal structure as you can see in the summary here and to draw any arrow what you need to do is you need to go to edit and then click on vector so here we have the vector information so let me just adjust the windows a little so just shift the Tiaudu system a little here and then zoom it out a little bit okay so now in order to draw a vector what you need to do is first of all you need to create a vector so just go ahead and click on new and there are three ways in which you can provide the coordinates of the vector or the direction so basically you can provide the direction either in the lattice vector notation or you can provide them in the Cartesian vector notation or you can just provide them in the reciprocal lattice vector notation now for me I personally like the lattice vector notation or only the Cartesian vector notation so just uh, you know go ahead and uh, provide any notation and using any of these three uh, coordinates systems so let's just uh, you know create a vector along the a uh, lattice vector so we'll provide the coordinates 100 zero, zero. and you can see that it automatically you know converts 100 zero, zero in all the other systems like in the reciprocal lattice vector then what would be the value in the Cartesian vector notation and all that and then you have a few more stuff here but we will cover that a little later so just go ahead and click on ok so that we have this new vector now too uh, currently what you can see is that uh, there is no vector showing up here right now so what you can do is you can uh, create a vector or you know display it uh, coming from any of these atoms so uh, to do that what you can do is you can select a site so when you click on TI so it would select all the TI atoms on the in the crystal and then when you uh, you know set this vector to be shown on ti atoms and what it ha what would happen is and when you click here on set that will create several uh, vectors coming from out from the ti atoms because we have selected all the ti sites and as you can see they are in the a lattice vector direction from here you can see that now you can notice that the uh, arrows are a little uh, too big and so what you would want to do is you would want to uh, you know make them a little bit thinner so just go ahead and come back here and select edit now in order to make them a little bit thinner you can just reduce the size of the radius so just uh, make it 0 0.1 and now you can see that the uh, arrows have become smaller and what you can notice right here is that the vectors are a little too long so in case you want smaller vectors or shorter vectors and what you can do to change their length is you can click on edit here to edit the vector and you can change its modulus so the modulus tells the length of the vector so you can change it according to your needs and let me just select two so this will make make the vector smaller now so this time the vector are smaller then we have another option in the vectors tab that is uh, whether you want them to penetrate the atoms or not so if you have this uh, option checked then the vectors would be coming from the uh, behind of the atom and then going straight through it however if you uncheck this uh, option and then click on ok then you would notice that the uh, vectors are now originating from the atoms and they are not going through the atoms then we have one more settings that is uh, you can change the color of the vector to any other color that you want so let's just make it green and you can have two types of vectors that is polar and axial vectors so you can select polar vector and uh, then you can you know click on ok so uh, this is uh, the new look for the vectors now and then uh, what else so then you have add atom radius to vector modulus so what this would do is so you have provided the modulus that uh, will specify the height um, sorry the length of the vector however if you check this part then you know the length would become slightly larger than uh, the before because now it would add the radius of the atom to the vector length so that's all I guess and similarly you can provide a or you know show vectors or arrows coming out from the O atom by setting uh, you know by clicking here and then vectors would be set to the O atoms 
and similarly you can remove these by just click on remove so we can remove all the vectors from there and in case you want to you know show uh, vectors coming out of some specific atoms here then what you can do is you can select individual atoms and then you can select the individual atoms and then set the vector to it so this way uh, you know the uh, the vectors would come out only from the atoms that you want and not from any other atom so this is another way to be doing it so you can just click on set and all that and you can show up many simul vectors simultaneously by just clicking on new and creating more vectors in other directions so now we have two vectors so uh, we will set uh, this one here so now we have two vectors coming out from uh, two different atoms that is from this atom we have the re red vector and then from this atom we have the green vector and both are in two different directions so that's all that's how we draw vectors or arrows coming out from different atoms or atomic sites in Vesta. i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it and in case you did then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and have a great day